I mean, yeah. God. God. Uh, what is this? <laughs> You're Trinity. You're Trinity. This is Ali Shin. Jesus. So you agree that Jesus is going to inherit everything that yeah. God has? Okay. Because okay. if I say to you, is Muhammad the hair of Allah, you will say no. I will say no, yes. So if Jesus is telling you clearly, yeah. I am the hair of the Father because I am the son of the Father. Yeah. I agree. Uh, let me tell you how I agree with you. Yeah. Where are you going? Like the Shekinah, the Memra is accordingly the manifestation of God. The Memra brings Israel near to God and sits on his throne receiving the prayers of Israel. <coughs> it shielded Noah from the sorry, flood. Sorry, I move like that because I'm um, just... You got a camera on? Oh, sorry. So, oh, actually, my bag keeps bumping in. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, so, yeah. Sorry. So, so it says it shielded Noah yeah. from the flood and brought about the dispensation of the 70 nations. It is the guardian huh? of Jacob and uh, of Israel. Amazon. It works all the wonders you, uh, in uh, Egypt, uh, hardens the heart of Pharaoh, uh, goes before uh, Israel uh, in the wilderness, uh, blesses Israel, battles the people, as in ruling over the destiny of man. The memory is the agent of God, as the, um, the angel of the Lord, as you said. So, so also, it is in the creation of the earth and in the execution. So, in the future, shall the memory be the comforter? Ah, my, uh, my Shekinah sh I shall put amongst LED. you. Mm, my memory shall be unto you a redeeming deity, mm. and you shall be unto my name a holy people. My memory shall be unto you like a good plowman who takes off the yoke from the shoulders of the, the oxen. Mm. The memory will roar to gather the exiled. Mm. The memory is the witness. Mm. It will also be to Israel like a father and will rejoice over them to do good. In their memory, the redemption will be found. The holy word was subject of the hymns of, of Job. Mm. Now, the reason why I'm giving you this is just from the Jewish perspective of how they understood the Old Testament. Yeah. And they understood this concept of the Memra. Because as I said, the, the Memra is the Logos. So the Memra was something in the Targums which they knew was like an agent of God. Yeah. They knew it was distinct from God, but sat on God's throne and received prayers. Otherwise, that would be idolatry or polypheism yeah, yeah. or whatnot. Yeah, 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 That's why I say like, when we actually look into Jewish texts as well, how did they understand the word Memra? It wasn't as the Father itself, it was actually something distinct from the Father. And actually when you look at it historically, this is what led the early Christians to convince people that Jesus was God. Because a man cannot just come and claim, yo, follow me, I'm yeah, God. Yeah, 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 there yeah. has to be a scriptural background yeah, basis course, to it. Course, course. So, and when you look into the historical, like there's scholarship on it as well, where they'll tell you that the early Christians, because people wondered who was this angel of the Lord. They didn't believe it was the Father, they always knew they attributed to different people but when Christ came they're like no this is the angel of okay, the Lord so that was distinct from God that was also sat on the throne received prayers and did all these things and that's why I went into the definition of what the memory was but then it kind of puts more into the sect of John 1 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with God and the word was God because when they un read that straight away they would have understood what was the, the memory or the logos because we can see some works we have someone called Philo of Alexandria as well mm. who spoke about his writings from the first century and he spoke about the Logos as well is this kind of uh, divine sort of uh, presence that wasn't God himself but it was like an agent of God so that's why you see, you see I think what we have yeah is it's like the same thing with many right, but it's got different terminology yeah because uh, it, because you, you you know if you're to say there's, there's more than one yeah straight away we're in yeah but again well, 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 but that's what, I know you're saying yeah, it all but that's what I'm saying that's why I keep bringing you back to the man and the wife shall become one because I can focus on that word and say it says one one no 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 what I meant no no what I meant what I meant was no not even like that I respect yeah, yeah. that um, what I mean is it's like how I, you know, I believe in the most high side. Yeah. But is he not powerful? Go, go ahead, go ahead. No, no actually, you, no, you <laughs> say it. Right, I, I was just going to say, is he, not is he not powerful enough yeah. 
the two do that. Speak. He is, but that's not what the scripture is saying, and that's okay, not how okay, the first okay, century okay. Jews understood it. And that's why I say sometimes we have to be careful with how we read the scripture, especially in English. And as you rightly said, like even when you spoke to Hashim about the parable of the marriage, you know. Because God always speaks about the bride, bridegroom, yeah. and there's, there's a lot of marriage um, analogy. Even the, yeah, the whole, even yeah, the, right the, yeah. the, the virgins going out of their bushels. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. It's talking about by the bride, 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 and the, yeah. Yeah. and okay. the, the, the groom is delayed. Yeah. So there's yeah. many passages yeah. that talk about the, the marriage, um, like terminology, idiomatic expressions. Mm. But then that's why I'm saying again, when we go to the oneness of God, because if you actually do your research, binitarianism was an acceptable part of Judaism in the first century. Yeah, yeah. So can I show you a scripture that asks you to explain it to me? Yeah. And, um, well, again, I'm not trying to be... No, that's fine. Because I always say to people, why, did the, why was binitarianism acceptable part of Judaism if it was a monotheistic religion? It's because they understood certain of the phrases. And yeah, sure. But even... OK, but one yeah. thing I want to say, though, because I'm not a fan of uh, scholarship stuff. Yeah. The reason why I say... No, 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 I'm not saying I won't study and learn no, things. Right. I don't mean it like that. So yeah, I'm not saying, because yeah. scholars, no, I'm not saying yeah. that. I like to look at everything. Yeah. Because obviously, when the Saviour came, he chose fishermen, yeah. people on it. Like, and again, the scripture says that the Ruach leads us into all truth. Yeah. Well, you but, know, you say the Holy the Spirit is, is, go ahead, sorry. For the scholarship, for the marriage analogy, you have to go outside of the Bible to understand that the whole idiomatic expression of the well, bride. I, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. So when God said, uh, when so when Jesus said no one knows the hour, yeah. you knew it was a wedding expression from just by it, it, it came over it came over time. I looked at things, yeah, like and I understood like when you go back, yeah, and I was like okay because like, I didn't even get a chance to come through the example actually yeah. because it was just too you know, yeah. um, and I said um, what did I say? Yeah, sorry. So the same with Abraham. Yeah. Abraham sent. He didn't. His, uh, Isaac didn't know when his bride was coming. Abraham sent like you know uh, one of the yeah, yeah, yeah. to go and get the bride. Yeah, Similar yeah. thing. Same with Jacob. At the time when it's appointed, Isaac's like, right, go and get your wife from. So yeah, it was yeah, like, okay. I started. And then it, All right. It, that's yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. So now I've given you the passages. And actually, let us make God and, and, man in our wait, image. <laughs> and and I'm gonna uh, say something on camera. Let me say something on camera. No, yeah, it yeah. helps you. I'm gonna say something as well on camera. Yeah, and then basically I was watching and I was listening. Da, 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 and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw you confirm. I saw you talking about it. And that kind of made me think, okay, I'm onto something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. See, I'll give you credit where it's due. Uh, cool, I cool. could have said nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but again, but so that's, I, why that's what came to you before. And when yeah, you said, yeah. I was like, okay. Because I had many people talking about that before you. Yeah, yeah. And I think a few other people. Okay. Yeah. So and I know, I know you're a, a, studied, a well studied guy. Yeah. I respect that. And that's why I give you the passages of, like, the very first time, because the here at Israel, your Lord God is one. And the Hebrew word is Ahad. Hello, sir. And the very first time yeah, we actually see cool, that man. word cool, Ahad used yeah. is when God oh, says, the day and the night shall create one day. Yeah. So that was God's, I think that was on purpose. Because God has given us a definition of one. Because Jews find that verse problematic as well. Because they say it means the first. No, it doesn't. It means like a kind of compound, Sorry. compound one. And the second time we use it. Oh, wait, can I go that side? Oh, like, blind me. We don't we got it. You go that side. Yeah. Oh. Ah. So, so the second time we Can't see, see. <laughs> the second time we see it used you, as well yeah. is when it says so yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm working for the one flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see in Deuteronomy, so you your Lord God is a hand. Because the, the way I look at it is that God cannot necessarily communicate this for people to comprehend. True. So he's saying when you're seeing totally the distinction in totally God, agree. no, there's one God. Yeah. Yeah. But they came out of polytheism and whatnot, and probably people would have started yeah. trying to attribute all these different things but as long as God says there's one God while well, you're, you're reading distinctions mm. and whatnot but God is saying they're one so even when he says I swear by myself we have to understand that we should be careful of taking just a one God passage, is, one passage. Well, not even just one passage but because God says I swear by myself that there's only one person that God's nature is not beyond what we understand and that's why I went into quantum physics as well where if, if we had been taught these things from school, mm. we would have a totally under different understanding of when we read the one. Because I, I believe God has created these things and atoms and whatnot to do things that go against our intuitive nature. Because these are things from God's nature that God understands. Yeah, of course. We yeah, 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 yeah. We have no clue. So yeah, it's but it's like it was like until we observed these things, yeah. people would have said, "No, you're mad." An atom <laughs> cannot be yeah. in an infinite amount of. It's called string theory. Yeah. I said you wouldn't. 
there was some, like even um, Einstein called quantum physics spooky. Yeah. Because yeah. they could not explain what they were observing. Yeah. And that's why when I see things, when I think about God's nature, yeah. or look at when Nicodemus said being born again, yeah. and when Christ, yeah, says, yeah, when Christ yeah. says, you are going to eat my flesh. Yeah. Like, if we take these things yeah, sure. as and drink my, and drink my blood. Yeah. yeah. Then we go away. But yeah. we, that's why I look at how Jews understood it. Yeah. How do you understand? Well, I understand me. Obviously, yeah. I understand the flesh is what we're talking about the word. That's for me. Yeah. The flesh is talking about the word. Yeah. And then obviously, drink my blood. It's talking about uh, the rock, yeah. the spirit. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, people might have a little, but again, yeah, but you can see it. I just think it's not literal. That's no, it's not literal. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Like when God says, "I swear for myself," so what is the nature of God? Because if, 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 as the Christian explanation of the Trinity is, that doesn't negate that God can swear upon Himself. No, it doesn't say, Do it, I have to say, I swear upon my son or whatever. Okay. But unless we understand what is that one list of definition. Because both, both. We, from, okay. again, the, just, and I'll make my point, the, the man and the woman being distinct but being one, and the day and the night yeah. being distinct but being one. Why can God not be distinct and also one? Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. So, again, I've got a lot of scripture here, because again, to try to take this. Yeah. Well, I, I like it's good to have your understanding of this. So you had uh, first, oh, do you have you, you had you must have you must have heard first Timothy three sixteen, you must have heard that many times. Um without conscious hey, great is the mystery of God and who was manifest in the flesh. Yeah. Justified in this Huh? Got more one. Oh sorry. Uh, first Timothy three sixteen. It says and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Yahuwah, or God for people, Christianity, God manifest, manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up into esteem. So how do we, how, how, how do we, how do we, based on the free thing and the sun being separate, how do we get, when was, you, when was he manifest in the flesh then? Yeah, but then if, if Christ, because you're thinking that the fog, they, they could, the No, 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 I'm yeah. not thinking anything, yeah. I'm not thinking okay. anything. So it'd be just good to see what like, no, but How? Be, be genuine because this lady said that the father is the same. Oh no, we've so been talking. We, no, 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 no. We, 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 we've been talking for ages. So we, we've been ah, we had a genuine conversation. It's not been. So it's not connected to heavenly. Yeah, no, no, it is, it is, but it's not been, it's not been, we've been having a sincere conversation. He knows, I believe, that the Father and the Son are one. Oh, no, no, I'm just trying to say it's not, okay. I'm not trying to chip but, him up or anything. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, when it's God, but then when we have the, the Word was God. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. God, the Word came flesh, yeah. Yeah. you understand? So, so it's in the same, yeah, okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, so if the Word was God, then the Word became flesh. Yeah. It's not that the Father became flesh, that's how we understand. Yeah. The Word was distinct okay. from the God, but the Word was also God, and that Word, God, that's that word, theology. which was God, came in the flesh. <laughs> and that's why I take you back to the Memra and how, and Binitarianism, how Jews would have understood it as well when you read it from that perspective. Okay. You know, because there's not much explanation from it. Like, because John is writing to an audience that would have understood it. He's writing to the church. You know. But at the same, but at the same time, it's like, um, you see, at, do you believe that the same spirit that was in the world at their time is still here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's still, spirit, yeah. yeah. It's still, it's still, it's still guiding people today. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not gone. So again, obviously, if you tap into that, well, it will still lead you. Obviously, you have to be sincere. It's, it's the same thing, isn't it? Because yeah, so he opens our understanding to things. Yeah. So, 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 so the, so the Christian perspective, remember, it, would be that they share the same yeah. essence. Let's say it's called it as water, shares the same essence. The yeah, no, I, I, I appreciate so that. Yeah. A, the Yuhua reigns upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yuhua out of heaven. All right, so now, remember we saw God visited Abraham. Now this passage is referring to two Yahuas. Now you could, might say God was in heaven and on earth at the same time. Now if we go to Amos, book of Amos, mm -hmm. four, in the fourth, yep. verse 11. Yep. Uh, now, if you read that. I have overthrown some of you as you who are overthrown Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a fire firebrand plucked out of the, bird, of the burning. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith Yahuwah. Right. So Yahuwah is speaking, but he's referring to that same incident. He's saying Yahuwah. He didn't say I. He's referring to Yahuwah in the third person. So clearly the distinction. And these are things that when people read, like, and how we had things like planetarianism, because people, and that's why I gave you the memory of the Lord, because people are, the Israelites are reading the scripture and understanding there's a distinction. Like God is not saying, I, as you gave me the passage, I swear by myself. But here, God's not saying, I've over for you. But, but okay, but so, if, if, in Hebrew, the word, um, 
God, they would say it would be Alawa. So, oh, yeah, but I know it says God. But wait, no, but saying, read it from the beginning. No, I have. It says, I have overflowed some of you as. as yes, sorry, as, yeah. As you, as basically. As, as, as Alawa overthrew Solomon Gomorrah. All right. Yeah. And he were so Alawa when he's speaking to, he's speaking of that mighty of the mighty power. So it's so again for me, it, it, it's, it's how you read it. Obviously, no, it's fine. No, you how you believe your thing. But for me, it's it doesn't point away from it being him. It's like saying for me, it's like when I read that scripture, it's like saying um, I've overthrown some of you as basically the mighty one, as your mighty one, as this, as that, as the, as the creator of all has done. It's, it's kind of kind of referring to himself but I wouldn't so it's like as the mighty one who as, as your mighty one so again it, it, it for me I, I can still see it pointing back but I can still see it pointing to what you're saying that makes mm. sense. so it's just kind of like a uh, a, 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 a reference affirming something that he's done but again yeah. it's down to obviously like the scripture says Word killeth, but the spirit gives life. So a lot of things, you know, certain people. Um, I'm not trying to throw stones at anybody, but Muslims or unbelievers, they'll come to say, but he says this, it says that. Yeah, yeah. But based on your understanding and my understanding, we know. Yeah. Oh, it's a meaning. Yeah. So I just think sometimes, but either of us, yeah, we but can then, see things differently. But yeah, but then those passages, for example, go in line with John 1:1. 1, 1. The word was with God, and the word was God. It's a clarification because the book of John is a book that tries to. It's it's almost some of it because after. God, John was the last book that was written and a lot of the gospel after Christ we even read in uh, Acts there was a lot of heresies that came in the gospel the Gnostics yeah. and whatnot yeah. and John is a, a book that actually tries to clarify a lot of things for example it's a book that talks about when uh, the, the apostles touched Christ they touched his hands it was real because a lot of heresies were you had Gnostics that said Christ wasn't a physical person so there yeah. wasn't any real crucifixion yeah. So John is addressing things that, like, it's almost to make a make sure, yeah, to confirm exactly. things, yeah. So that's why I even this, that. this starting passage, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It's mm. clarifying mm. the position. Mm. That there was something distinct from God. The, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Not that the Word is the Father, and the Father came in flesh. You know, and that's why, like, you read, so you have more of the I am statements, the more divine statements, before Abraham was I am, mm. and stuff. Like, the book of John is trying to clarify a lot of, heresies and stuff that's creeping in so that's why I'm saying that when you look at John 1 1 mm. it goes in line with a man and a wife shall become one flesh and all these scriptures that you can say for example yeah I see it as one but then it'll be a, 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 a misreading of scripture for example well, based on your understanding well or based on what you believe it's like for example when um let's see example like sometimes when you speak to Hebrew Israelites they will read the scripture in a totally different way and they'll say no no this is my understanding because this is what the scripture is saying but then you will look at it and be like no 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 this is a total well yeah again it's like the bottom line is we believe in one yeah well i believe in one yeah, yeah. I don't know. no no i don't believe there's loads or whatever and in relation to i think again a lot of doctrine of some Hebrew Israelites and stuff so i don't want to yeah. stand them all because they're not all bad people but yeah. some of them have to believe different things it's like salvation is only for certain people yeah that scripture just totally pushes against that so again it's one of those things yeah. but even like in um but that's what i'm saying because okay, so again when we can i show you a scripture then as well yeah that, that's fine but we go ahead, go ahead. again look at it from a first century perspective because what you're telling me is from what you're reading as well and that's what i'm saying when you look at even go outside of it look at the evidence collectively even when i gave you the targum as well because at the moment you're reading it from your perspective no i don't but how would you understand so, the first okay, century Jewish so, perspective so, so scripturally so what is what is the most high say he says lean on your own understanding so that's yeah. the first thing so i can't lean on my own understanding so why are you but he said on? well he says that you have to well you have to pray you have to fast you have to, he says trust in me with all my heart pray to you who and he will direct your path okay. so whoever it is so how do you know i me clarifying this is not directing your path but then you are refusing it you no, 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 that's a good and, and it could go both ways yeah but that's what i'm saying go. i'm so, giving you collective evidence because like the more you actually research the more you read research the writings of the okay. church fathers or even or even or even or even jewish writings where we kind of ancient Jewish writing yeah. the whole the perspective yeah. goes with what I'm saying not with what you're saying okay but then okay so you're talking about the writing so <laughs> at the end of the day now we have to believe yeah, obviously in, in, in the spirit yeah so the theology. we have first uh, first John 2 27 
He says, I'm still um, trying to like, um, Spirit that abides. Let me, can I read it actually? So it'll be easy just to read it. Because, and I just want to go, and I want to go to just another scripture. Because again, it can work both ways what you're saying. And I'm open. No, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not. I'm not going to come to you. Right, what you're saying, rather, I'm not like that. I'll go home, pray, meditate. I can't just take anything. Everybody yeah, says right. to me, yeah, yeah. you go home, you pray, you receive it. And that's the fair, the fair way to judge it, right? Yes. And you should get an answer that way. So, and just to confirm why I'm, I, I say that. Yeah, um, because. Yeah, why is it reading? Yeah, because so, look at yeah. that. <laughs> and that's why I, I draw you to the passages of where Christ, um, where David said, the Lord said to my Lord. But that's the same passage Jesus referred to when talking about David. How can, who is the Messiah? How can David yes. say, you know, so it's some, because before, it's showing you there's two different th persons referring to that in that passage. Because when I asked you about it before, you kind of said something, I can't remember if it was No, I, no I, I said for me that it's speaking of like, like you have the word and yeah. Yahuwah, but for me they're one and the same. So that's what I was saying, it's one yeah. and the same. It's not like it's something separate. It's one, so it's, it's understanding past the letters and understanding. I mean, you're saying that, yeah, there's, you know, there's three, whatever, but there, in one use, for me, it's just like, well, it's just a lot of things, some things are written where it's like a puzzle, it looks puzzling yeah but actually it's just points to one thing but just in regards to, to what you said about basically what you're saying to me going outside now again one of the scriptures where it says first john 2 27 but the anointing which have which ye have received of it abideth in you and you need not that any man teach you not saying because obviously the spirit teaches us so i'm not saying just go into people that are maybe not led by say the holy ghost i say the rock they're not led by it they're just you know you've got to be careful who you're being led by I'm not saying that you're wrong or anything like that but the same um, anointing teaches you all things and is truth and is no lie and even if it have taught you you shall abide in him so that's how i operate so i will go and pray and fast on it because if you're true if you're right he must give me an answer to confirm it right yeah so otherwise, otherwise we stop getting prayed this way and that way and all different types of doctrines so i'm not dismissing it yeah i'm just saying but yeah that's what i'm saying that's why i gave you gave you passages to dwell on i gave you biblical passages and out everything outside the bible to help with your understanding it's something that you know, obviously, if you are seeking the truth, you will kind of look ponder oh, and then come to a conclusion. Of course, you yeah. have to be, you have to be yeah. open and respectful. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's point. Point. Yeah. You just had a debate with God. No more questions <laughs> for you. Why not? You're, 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 yeah, you're done for the day. I'm gonna ask you a question. Don't you think that the Bible? Oh, okay. Don't you think that the Bible give a mixed message about what God is? And as long as God is what He is, and that the, the Bible teaches that God doesn't change his nature while he 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 I do understand he that. Do, I just want, just want Sorry, go, go, why go, 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 go. he does it change his nature from a mortal to a mortal from invisible to a visible from eternal to uh, born out of a woman uh, this nature isn't it uh, like the the Bible lead us uh, for confusion about God uh, well, I, I agree to an extent that the, the biblical reading the Bible can is not always easy to understand God's nature. Even there's many things that are may confuse us. And let, let me just give you a passage, and I'll, I'll try and answer your um, question in full. So I'll just read Mark 10. What's this about? It's that the Bible can be confusing about God's nature. Oh, so sorry. first of all, the Bible doesn't say God's nature. Like when people say, "Oh, it doesn't specific," you, it doesn't use the word God's nature. So you've added that in. No, I that. didn't add anything because no, it doesn't say nature. According to T Timothy, yes. According to Timothy 1, uh, 16 from him. I, I, I'm not memorized by heart, but uh, uh, 116 it says that Allah, uh, God, yeah. is immortal, alone, He is, yeah. is immortal, yeah. and He lives in an approachable light, yeah. and no one can see, no one be able to see. Then another, when you, you say in John, and John say, talking about the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh, yeah. uh, uh, that means before it was immortal and eternal, and uh, then uh, this immortal and invisible and eternal, it become mortal and become visible because anyone who sees the Father, uh, sees the Son, the, yes. the Father. But uh, Jesus in the same context, he said, he prayed for the believer to be one with him and the Father. So even, so if Jesus, let's consider Jesus is God, and the believer will become God's as well. Okay. So me, we become uh, God with read, God. Let me just read this passage. Yeah. So, it says, okay, so, but when he was alone, those around him with the 12 asked him about the parable. 
and he said to them, to you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But to those who are outside, all things come in parables, so that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest they should turn and their sins be forgiven of them. He's talking about the kingdom of God, not about yes. God himself. And I'm talking about does yes. the Bible yes, but, confuse but us wait. about God? But wait. And about God there should be no confusion because God is the truth. But, yes, and the wait. truth is, uh, Jesus, when he teach people how to pray to the Father, which he said, the Father is greater than the Son, greater than all. He's teaching that the God art in heaven, so he's not among us, dwelling among his people. So Jesus, even he, he when he talked to Maria Magdalena, he say, I'm going to my God and your God, my father and your father. So uh, Maria Magdalena, a physical way as a woman, she's equal as a human to, to Jesus. How can he be God and have a two nature, a God at the same time he's a man, and he saying, I didn't ascend to my father and your father, my God and your God, which he's saying that my father is art in heaven, he's not here. What's the hypostatic union? Wait, so yeah, yeah, let me just give him one passage just to go with what I, what I said, just to put the two together. So now, this is when, because we all know Jesus was the Christ, the Messiah. Exactly. And if we go to John 10, uh, 24, and it's, uh, I'll start from 23 and it says, And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But when we read, the, but when we read the scripture, Christ never said explicitly, I am the Christ. So now, they're saying, when will you tell us plainly? Is what, the same kind of questions you're asking us. Where will he tell us? But, but Christ is saying, let me just finish. Christ is saying, I have revealed it to you, not in the way that you expected yeah. it, because they said, tell us plainly. Yeah. He said, no, I've told you, but you didn't believe, but you're asking us that I, same I believe, sort of question. I believe so, and I agree with this, because Jesus, yes. uh, when they ask uh, uh, the priest, he asked him when he was, I guess, on the cross, yes. are you the, uh, the son of the, the that mighty was in one? The trial. Yeah, yes. uh, 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 he told them, yes, I am. Uh, so he's saying, I am Christ, I am Messiah, yes. who are sent to the lordship of but Israel, but you didn't but even I perform. No, no. I, no, let, I'm gonna... let, me, let me finish. I'm confirming what you are saying. I agree with that. He was the Christ, but he's never mentioned that he is God. But you know the problem with what you're saying? No. Because I'll tell you what, what the problem is. When Christ said that at the trial, yeah. this is not the same people. Fair enough. So they're saying to him, so but even if Christ said it explicitly, okay. let's say in a closed environment, okay. it wasn't in the public environment. That's why these people said, tell us plainly because they're listening to him and they're wondering tell us plainly if you're the Christ because they're asking him so it wasn't these people in the trial but Christ is saying to these people who he's not said it explicitly to I've already told you but when we look he's never said it explicitly in the trial yes he admitted it but that was to a different people so they're asking him in this one situation okay. yeah, so I, I agree with you right. and I will confirm yeah, it because as the only the miracle is a sign for the people, the Jew, that he is their Messiah. And but because of their arrogance, they disobey him and try to kill him many times. And he confronts them that why you trying to kill me? And I'm, I'm doing all good to, uh, in front of you as a sign from God because he said whatever I'm saying is from God so, so and whatever I'm doing is from God. So with this situation, should Christ have said to them, yes? Because they said, tell us plainly. He's, he's confirming, but, he is. But where, did he he say, but where did he say yes? He's confirming by what he's done in front of them okay. and what they witnessed. Thank you. Because so, I don't yes. need to tell you who I am. Right. I tell you, I am Yahya. Yes. You tell me, what do you do? I told you, I do such and such and such. But if you know what I do and you have witness, yes. you, you don't need to tell so me. Now, I tell you, I am Yahya, so now, I do this. So now, so now you're saying yeah. to identify Christ as the Messiah, yeah. we look at his actions. Yeah. Now, and let me saying, ask you a question. And do you know any human being who has come down from heaven? Because Christ says, I am the bread that comes from heaven. Wait, can I just say something? Sorry. Uh, you know what you're saying, yeah? yeah? It's like, if you go to John 10, 33, and the Pharisees want to kill him, yeah. they want to stone him, yeah? yeah? 
and he basically says to them, why do you want to kill me for doing all these good works? Because you make yourself And the Jews say unto him, the Jews answer him saying, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Okay. So they understood. So, so, so what you were saying? So they understood. So, they understood. so uh, it's, uh, it's obvious what uh, they have uh, understand, that uh, he is uh, doing good good job, but he's, he never claims that he is their God. But no, or, or, but or, or, please, please, please. You're still please, making a mistake. Let yeah, me yeah, just stop but, you. Uh, because uh, you're making the same mistake, even, Yaya. Even because the, the Jew, the Jew have two signs. I am confirming. Okay. The Jew have uh, a sign uh, of a prophet. If a prophet come and tell something and it didn't come through, this uh, prophet should be put to death. <laughs> this is according to the Bible. Uh, I, I'm not saying that yeah, but for listen, me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus. But no, no. Why but you look, want to no, no, cut me listen, off? Because let's stay on topic. Because what I'm saying to I'm you. I'm staying on but, topic. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. You said that Christ was the Messiah because of the actions he did. Yes. Now he's given you a passage where the Jews understood what Christ was doing was making himself equal with God. So now what you're saying is that you accept some of the actions when it goes with a prophet, but when he's doing stuff that makes him equal to God, now you're not accepting it. Okay. But we have to understand it, everything. Okay, where, where does Jesus make himself equal to God when he plainly say the father is greater than the son greater than all uh, the, the people he said for when, example when, 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 give me the specific when he said I am equal to God please okay. so when, for example when he says I am greater than this temp temple I am the Lord of the Sabbath right God was the only person who was the Lord of the Sabbath now if Jesus is saying that that means he is saying he's greater than the temple in their language, okay, in their okay. language, yeah, they understood. Okay. It's just saying today's okay. terminology. Okay. The temple, yes. the temple, or anything created. A bow, he, get in the combo. You know, he, get in the combo. He is as 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 yeah, Christ. Yeah, no, because he got in the combo. As Messiah, he is he, more he, important he, than the temple because they were having a conversation the temple is a physical physical construction. Yeah, while 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 he he is the guide, no, the, the mediator between God and uh, the worship of Israel. That's why he come to teach them to obey God the Lord because he was an obedient and slave to, to God. So, did did the Father did the Father and your scripture all of them that show that God the Father are worshipping God the Son? Well, listen, so when Jesus says, okay. when, when Jesus says I have come down from heaven, what does that mean? Okay. Come down from heaven. He came by the permission of Almighty God. And he didn't come from he down from heaven because he came down from uh, the womb of a woman. He was born. But Christ said, I come down from heaven. Uh, he come down from heaven. That, he, come down from that, heaven. that mean he was sent, sent by, by God as, as, as in John 13. Uh, uh, 17, uh, uh, 3, uh, uh, the, uh, the true God, according to Jesus, is the Father who sent him, who sent him to the Lordship of Israel. But, but the thing is, how yeah. come your understanding, yeah. do you speak Aramaic? I speak Arabic. Do you speak Aramaic? <laughs> I speak Arabic. Do you speak Aramaic? I speak Arabic. Okay, so you don't speak Aramaic, you don't no. speak Hebrew, <laughs> and you don't speak Greek. So now, okay. my question is, how come you yeah. understand Jesus' words better than the people that lived with him who said he makes himself equal with God? Yeah, that's a good because question. because mm. Jesus himself, according to his teaching, when he says that he is less than God, he said mean he doesn't become God. And if we go to Isaiah, Isaiah, uh, when he teach, uh, the, uh, uh, and Isaiah, when, when he teach, the, the, uh, when he teach uh, uh, that there's only one God, and there's no one like God, and Jesus is like a human, like anybody else, and he will be seated, seated on the right hand side of God. It's not he, he cannot be God hold on, seated hold with on, another God. Hold on, hold on a minute. You're asked for a scripture. I just got to grab something briefly. Sorry, to interject, yeah? Yeah, why you said, right? Why don't we walk a little bit away from... No, no, no just... Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Move, move. Okay, rock right now. Yeah, we just do it. Yeah, uh, go, 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 no, little no, no, person, no, no, go. No, no. But it's too... Uh, too uh, the, for the light, for the light purposes. The sound is it's too light. It's light purposes. So, come, come, sit, uh, come, stand on my right hand side. Alright. Yeah. Gangster, gangster, what, what he was going to say? <laughs> but yeah, so, so, so you see, one thing I find sometimes is that people ask the scriptures and stuff. I like we have to go and receive stuff, you get it, but they don't receive it. So, okay. when 
it's just hard to say the Savior. I say who shoots the gate, but just say the Savior to argue, say so yeah. we can understand. When the Savior was tempted, if you go to Matthew, um, oh, they Matthew got 4, the yeah? Yeah. Satan took the Savior up to the, the mountain, all right? And he said unto him, though you be the son of God, That's right. son but of the Most High, this is what Satan chance. was saying to him, yeah? So he's confirming, yeah? Cast thyself okay, down. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, least <laughs> at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone, which is coming from a psalm. Now, listen to what I'm listening. the Saviour says. Now, people, Christians say, Jesus, I say you, who shall said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt Yahuwah thy master. James, James, James. Okay. Uh, you so who is he trying to tempt? I'm telling the truth and I'm not Who is Satan trying to attempt? What, 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 what I'm saying, uh, but that's his word. That's his word. Regarding the saving, so this proph prophecy it didn't come true because no, no, no. when the, the angel, the, no yeah, one. But, wait, no, no, wait. Let, let, the why you cut me off oh, before I finish my sentence? No, no, can I, can let, let me finish. Something? Let me finish, and you're welcome to refute for what I'm saying. According to what, what you're saying, that God will send the angel and the, 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 he will be protected. But according to uh, to the crucifixion, none none oh, of uh, the, yeah, none of the angel come to his rescue no, you're and he was no, you're, missing the, you're missing the point the point no, of what I'm saying to me. the point of what I'm saying to you is this okay. the enemy is trying to tempt the saviour and all sorts of things okay. he's not listening to yeah, yeah. so he gets tired of him okay, okay. and whatever whatever and then he says one thing to him one okay. thing he says to him is this it is written that, should, that you should not tempt basically your creator your yeah, master okay. we cannot uh, so, tempt okay, our creator so if he's trying to because, tempt because so, so who's he trying to tempt who is he trying to tempt at the time when he says it <laughs> uh, Jesus. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe I. Maybe, you get what I'm yeah. saying? Maybe, maybe I don't understand the, the like meaning behind. Say. But let me tell you something. Let me talk. Okay, right. You want to talk? If you're no, not no. holding. Uh, Jesus. He's the truth. He's the life. He's the salvation of uh, those people who he come to. to I'm going to give him. Yeah, go on. Yeah. I'm going to give him two passages. Uh, yeah. uh, Jesus. Copy church. Tempting anybody, but Coptic he's coming church. with the truth Free and the worship of his church. They Free are the, the one who are trying Free to reject him no matter what he Free the Coptic church! No, 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 no. What Free are the the you doing? <laughs> No, but, oh, right. just lastly, what are you doing? He wants to give you. He wants to give you two scriptures. Yeah. He wants okay. to, to give you two scriptures. But look, yeah. what I'm saying sorry, to you, just briefly before you give two scriptures, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, but what you're not reading because you asked for scripture, and now you're just bypassing it. Yeah, and he's going to give you a scripture. What did he say? But I cannot. Read okay, my he says Jesus said unto him. Yeah. So Jesus said to Satan. Yeah. Okay. You shall. It is written that you shall not tempt. Basically, your creator. So he's so. If say you're so. No, 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 no I'm not going to say you. I understand. So say, no, I understand very well. So you. I, I, I understand okay, so now. So you said that he is. I understand the now. Creator. Yeah, well, your I understand you now very, very well. Your prophet trained uh, You got the scripture. There it is. Uh, I hand you so the paper how boy. Dare, <laughs> how dare. How then, Shaitan to tempt God while yeah. he knows that, that, that Jesus is God. No, he didn't but, know. Okay, he didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me give you two passages. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. off the scripture, I, I, I gave it. Let me respond to him, then I can. <laughs> God, God cannot be tempted no, wait, according no. to the scripture. Sorry, before you Just, say that, before you say that, you're off the scripture. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. God, sorry, sorry, God, sorry, sorry. God cannot be tempted by Shaitan according to the scripture. And if Shaitan are uh, trying to tempt uh, Jesus and when he tempted him he failed uh, and he, he failed. failed and he told he him you go only to your dad so he telling him, showing him uh, everything, and he told him, bow to me. He told him, I bow only to my God, my Father, not to bow to you. And Jesus okay. was a worshipper, and we all know that when he used to worship, are, okay, he fine. fall on his face. He used to worship you the, the Father. I gave it to you when you yeah, yeah, yeah. So you no, agree no, with me. Let me, I'm you agree with me, because let me just, Jesus yeah, is yeah. impossible yeah, that okay, he used yeah. to... You've had this discussion with Oh, my well, God. Well, let's just finish. You go Jesus... On he used to be a worshipper of the Father, oh. and he didn't worship okay, himself. Yeah, yeah. If you want to learn, listen, you. I'm I want to learn two passages. Yeah, two passages. The first one is Matthew 13. Okay. It says, "Indeed, in their oh, case, the prophecy the of Isaiah is fulfilled. You will indeed hear, but never understand, and you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear." 
and with their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and turn and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see and did not see it and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. I believe what you're saying okay. because because he already shows them and tells them the truth All right. that, that he is coming to save them from eternal uh, uh, domination of, of hellfire okay. and he shows them what to do to to, be, uh, to gain the eternal life. Jesus is a mediator between God who no one can see or see. He's an eternal invisible God uh, which no one can see. And the reward of the believer and the hereafter that not paradise but to, to be with God who sent all the prophet and messenger okay. to mankind. I said I'm going to give you two passages. Begin. Now I'm going to read the second do, do one. Do you agree with me on what I'm saying? Wait, let me, let me read this. Do you agree what I said? First. Wait, okay. No. Why this not? Because this is going to explain everything. Now we're going to, because I gave you a passage about being sincere and understanding with your heart. Okay. Now I'm going to see if you understand this parable. It's Matthew 21. Yeah. It says, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. When the harvest time approached, he sent his servants to the tenant to collect the fruit. The tenants killed his servants. They beat one, killed another and stoned the third. Then he sent other servants to them more than the first time. And the tenants treated them the same way. Last of all, he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and take his inheritance. They, so they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to the tenants? He will bring those wretches to a wretched end. He replied and he said, and he will rent them, the vineyard, to the other tenants who he will give them his shares, the crop of harvest time. Jesus said to them, have you never read in scripture, the, sun, the, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and the Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. And it says, therefore I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people who will produce its fruits. Anyone who falls on the stone shall, will be broken to pieces anyone who fall, whom it falls will be crushed. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees heard Jesus' parable and they knew he was talking about them. They looked for a way to arrest him, but when they were afraid of the crowd, because of the people held that he was a prophet. Now my question to you is this. No, no, stop before. I, you, you read it. Yeah, please but allow me now. Question, I thank you for but wait, confirming this. Yeah, but wait, let me ask the question. My question in this the West. passage, is who were the servants that are being sent that are being killed because he said the killers were the pharisees yeah. and who is the son okay and this is exactly okay. what is the point there is the uh, the owner he sent Who's the, the servant the owner is god okay yes and the servant and uh, the son the servant the prophet and the son is the son of god there is another prophet who say, sent by god sent by God to those one who are uh, the Jew, who they are not accepting, not uh, the servant, not the son even, and he, they are trying, uh, killing everybody else, and they're not obedient to, uh, to the master. So that's why uh, Jesus was telling them, uh, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and you will be thrown in hell fire because you disobey the father, you disobey me as the, the son of the father coming to you with salvation and you are a, a blaspheming against me a blaspheming against all the prophet and messenger because all the prophet and messenger they come with one message the lord our god is one worship him only and this is what it is okay. you said it himself the father the owner he didn't die but wait, let me the now, one who let died me no no I, i'm answering you yeah, but, the, yeah, one died, the one who died the one who died either the, the son or the servant but never is the owner okay, now the owner wait, is immortal now, okay, who, wait, who is now that? wait now listen and 
Verse no, verse um how <laughs> wait wait, let me just ask. No, so it go, says go. When, go, when the tenants saw the sun, go. they said to each other, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the hair. So the now hair, are you, wait, the hair what, what of is the, the, what is the, the hair? father. What is the hair? The hair is the inheritance of the kingdom of the father. So, so now because are the you father, saying that, the, wait, let me ask yeah, you I question. understand, I'm I understand. So are you saying Jesus is the inheritance gonna inherit everything that God has? Jesus and, and was was yeah. sent with the truth from God. That's not what he, I'm asking you. No, no, I, and I, I understand your I question. What is no, no, hair? No, no. The hair is the inheritance of what the father lived. And, is and the father is the God and the wait, son is not the wait, father. So is, is I'm answering you. You got you yeah, you talking yeah, over me. Yeah, but I'm trying to get something specific. So I'm saying to you, a hair is someone directly related to the father. Yes? I agree. So that means if Jesus is the hair, he's telling you he's directly related to the father. I agree. So then I agree. Means, okay, if you agree, that means Jesus, so you agree that Jesus is going to inherit everything that yeah. God has? Okay. Because if I say to you, is Muhammad the hair of Allah, you will say no. I will say no, yes. So why is Jesus going to every, inherit everything that God okay. the Father has? Can, can you allow me to answer without interrupting? Okay, and let me just make my last statement. Okay. Because his answer takes us back to the verse in Matthew that I gave you, where it says they will see, mm. but always be seeing, mm. and perceive but always be perceiving they unless they understand with their heart yes. because this parable is very clear it's Jesus heart, is telling you the Pharisees are the killers of the servants and Jesus is the hair, the hair yeah. now you cannot be a hair Without. unless you are the direct son of the the, the person the father, above yeah, the father, father. Yeah. Okay. so oh. Jesus is telling you clearly yeah. I am I, the hair of the father because I am the son of the father yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree uh, let me tell you how I agree with you. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> You're like, it's a light, come over here. This guy, he, he takes the light and we are talking in the middle of it. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah, okay. you're going to get a heart you know, of all these days. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah we'll you know, son, yeah, yeah. listen, listen to me. Listen. Son, sons, sons of God, sons of God, there is anyone who obey the Father, who is the owner of everything, is the, uh, the creator and he is the ultimate who will give inheritance or give whatever authority to to the other so jesus he's the receiver of from the god but that that doesn't mean he is god himself but he is the son of god so how come the, the son of god how son come of god son of god you're doing it again you're doing it again i told you yeah. Yeah. jesus yes. pray to the believer to be one with him and the father so they are the son and he said to maria magdalena my father and your father my god and your god so jesus yeah, has yeah, a god about, oh my god yeah, yeah. Every, about that. stop with interrupt passage. me and this is what about the parable yeah, yeah. that's why i gave you the, the, par two. the parable yeah, please, please. the parable yes. the owner he's not the one who died but the son who is sent by the father the to test those people who are killing everyone God sent them and uh, you make me uh, my stomach uh, now like this uh, because, because you're not, not listening. listening I'm listening very well he made a good the father good the father he the one, not the one who died the one who died is the one who been sent by the father like any all the other prophet you gave uh, the, 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 you said the prophecy about and Jesus he talk in parable he never say I am God who come and flesh to die for you and he never teach I am I am dying to save your sin but he teach repent and abide by the law of God and you will inherit do good deed Listen yeah, to me. Hear what I'm talking about. Forget about all this other stuff. Uh, parable. Because, listen, okay, parable. Because yeah. when, that, that wait, mean, let me stop you for a minute. I agree with wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. Your let parable. me stop you for a minute. Yeah. Because we were being very specific. We weren't going into jumping around the Bible like you're doing. You're going to Mary Magdalene, this and that. When we were talking, we were just yeah. speaking about specific things. Okay. And that's why we keep stopping you, okay. because you keep talking about irrelevant things. Forget about that. We're asking related. about No, we're asking about what does this passage mean because specifically. Do you know what it feels like? It's, that, it's, it's like you've got parable. a preconceived thing. Exactly. I, I, like you're pushing, you're not really you're not engaging, you're I, not engaging. I, yeah. I, I explained to you what the parable and I told you that the, the owner, he not the one who died. Yeah. Because the owner, the God, he's immortal. 
Yeah. He's invisible. You're Nobody can an, kill you're him. You're going to another passage. Oh, oh my God. Listen to what so, I'm saying. Okay, according wait. to you, okay, okay, I agree. According to you, your Bible with the parable is confused me as uh, I use my intellect. Wait, I will never understand. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, the scripture, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. the scripture, okay. yeah, yeah. me to to believe wait, I'm blind. Wait. I'm blind. Wait. Of course, that's what Jesus said. You're, you're so, spiritually blind. So, so now, Jesus, wait, is, listen. You asked me. And you said the Bible can be confusing it is. about interpretation. It is. So then this, I said to you, Jesus spoke in parables yeah. for the true believers would understand yeah. and everyone else, everything else would be a parable. Mm. And that's why I gave you this verse, mm. because it makes a distinction between the servants who are prophets, yeah, and because under, and under, under, your, under your criteria, they would also be classified as children of God. But yeah. there's a distinction. He's saying there's a hare who is the child of the father oh, three, and the three, servants four. who are not no, the, not the, the hares. Because so Christ is saying to you, yeah. to God, God is the father. Uh, yeah, I know. And he's saying he's the son, not in uh, I agree. we are the children of God. I agree. He's saying he's a literal son. I agree. Oh, okay. I agree with you. But the father is in a spiritual way. He's the father of all humankind. That's because we all saying. belong oh. to him. That's why he's saying okay. servants okay. and the Son. Okay. Because in this parable, there's only one son that they're saying. He okay. said his only that son. son. Okay. That son existed. Okay. 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 Let me explain the parable. Stop, stop. Then you no. went, uh, so oh, there, there is the honor, the father, yes. and there's the son. The direct son. So, you asked the question, but it didn't uh, there's go two around. gods. I would like to get about that. No, no, no. Please, 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 so there's two God here. Listen to what no, I'm no, saying. No, no. Forget about that for is a there's two God. No, Deal with the parable first. Deal with the parable first. Because what I'm saying to you is this. This passage is saying they killed the prophets and then the father is saying, I'm going to send my only son. Yeah. Maybe they will listen to him. But the parable is saying they didn't even care for the, the, the father's yeah, son, yeah. so they killed him. Okay. And we know the people who are killing are the Pharisees. So he's saying, I, he's no, I trying to yeah, show people yeah, yeah. that God has sent him. Yes, he is the son directly, not a spiritual son of God or a prophet okay. in the same. That's why he's making a distinction. Okay, my question to you. Yes. When the son died, yes. Did they kill the father at the same time? They didn't kill, they killed the flesh. Yeah, the body. Because they remember, and John, it my says, question, wait, my question, it says, my question, did they kill the owner of uh, the parable you said? No, they killed uh, the th son. Th thank you very much. So why didn't they kill the father? Because the father wasn't the son. Because the father is the eternal, immortal God. Say it. What? Say it. Because the father is the God the only true God who doesn't die, the immortal king, the king of kings, lord of lords, who nobody can kill and he doesn't die because he's okay. immortal and invisible. Because what he's doing, they kill the he's son. going to, um, what do you call it? Uh, do you agree with me or not? Wait, wait, it also says, so no one has seen the, the, father. the father. But in John, it says, Christ has seen the father. So how come if, if no one has seen him, and it says no man, can see the, the father, it's showing you that Christ is not a man because it says he has Perfect. seen the father as well in that invisible life. my life. question for you then is stand again. Did the father die when, did the father died when Jesus died? Did the father die? Yes or no? No. Thank you very much. Jesus, uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Jesus in 17.3 telling you exactly who is the true God who doesn't die. The father, so the son, the son who died is not the father. He cannot be. The son cannot be the father at the same time and die, because God doesn't die. He's immortal, and you just, you just, you just confirm. Listen to what we're saying to you. The divine son did not die on the cross. He died. The humanity died on the cross. No, no, no. I guess. Sorry, well, no, you, you are twisted. No, you are twi no, 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 twisted. With due respect, 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 with due respect, with the due respect, with the due respect, you are trying to twist okay, okay. the truth away because the father is immortal and he confirmed it. So that's the father. So the father is immortal and he is the only true God. So is the son. The son died. He cannot be. The son died. The yeah, son died me, me according you to you. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you a question. According to the Bible, what is God? God, according to the Bible, yeah. no one can no, see, no, no, no. no one can see, or no one can see. According to the according 
according to the Bible. God is immortal, eternal, invisible, all-knowing, all-healing. But, but and he but are, he are, he, not, not only spirit, because if he empty, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> is yeah, the yeah, Lord. Let, let people go speak. Okay, okay, last point, last you don't, you interrupt Rabbi, me every yeah, yeah. time, and you want Rabbi, me to let him speak. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, God. Uh, what is this? <laughs> uh, your trinity. Your Trinity. This is Alice Shin. This is Alice Shin. Yes, Alice Shin. Trinity. That's your nothing. Now, okay, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up. So, so, did you just throw that? So, yeah, what are you doing? You're not better than that. You're better than that. You're getting angry. Don't get angry. I'm getting angry because I cannot stand this seat. I'm getting angry. Why, 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 why? I'm not getting angry. Yeah, yeah, calm down. Now we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna wrap up. That's it. I'm getting angry. I'm getting right. angry okay. because of the deceit. Yeah. No, he right. confirmed. You want to make okay. a wrap up and then yeah. I'm yeah. No, he's just going to talk. You've got 30 seconds. When I talk to you, you walk away. What did he say? What did he Come. Hey, boy. Right, quick wrap up. What happened? Um, well, clearly, we started initially. <laughs> So no, Jesus loves you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love him. No, 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 there was an understanding, even if we look at binitarianism, they understood from reading the scripture, there was always a distinction. And I went to John 1, 1, which said, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And this was always understood as, a mem as the memra, which was a divine agent of God, which sat on his throne and received prayers. And I went into the Jewish encyclopedia and read out to him what it said. So people who have been in sincere will kind of look at all evidence, whether it's including the church fathers, or even Jewish understanding from outside the scripture to give a holistic explanation because what people sometimes do, they read the Bible in English and think they understand everything, but they don't try and understand it from a first century Jewish perspective. Yeah. Then we went, Yaya came in and interjected <laughs> and we went through the Bible because he said the Bible can be confusing. And I said, I agree because one Christ spoke in parables and it said, you know, we, we're supposed to understand the spiritual truths of the Bible. That's why Christ spoke in parables. And even when um, the Jews came up to him and said, when will you tell us plainly if you're the Christ? Jesus said, I have already told you by my works, you know, but like Yahya, they wanted this black and white, yes or no answer. But Christ is telling them, I've given you an answer. And that's why even when we see Christ teaching the apostles about the scripture, all the things concerning himself, about himself, God is asking us for the true believers to search the scriptures to, for it to reveal the truth. And that's why I gave him the parable about the, 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 the vineyard where the, the owner sent his son because it's making, it's, in, it's, it's um, what's the word? Um, Encapsulating the whole Old Testament yep. where we see continuously prophets being sent prophets being sent and they're not being adhered to by the Israelites because it says this kingdom will be taken away from these people and given to another which was the Gentiles and it said Christ even told you clearly that the people killing the prophets were the Pharisees and the Pharisees who killed Christ so Christ is calling himself directly the son of the person that sent him but Yahya has to engage with the text to understand not that Christ is saying in a spiritual way or um, he's making a dis distinction between the prophets and himself because the story is saying that it gets to a point where the father is sending his only son that hopefully this will make a difference but they rejected him and they killed him and this is why you have to look deeper into what Christ is saying to understand with your heart not to say jump to other passages but when you look at the Bible with sincerity and not from the Quran as your pretext to then understand Christ's words you'll come to the conclusion just from that very parable itself that Christ is telling you he is the son of the father he's not saying he is the father he's saying he's the son of the father and that's something we cannot get past and it's very clear in the text he's a distinction between the prophets and the direct son who the father sent Amen. yeah so then how do we understand it and that's what i'm saying okay, thank, you. Yeah, yeah. thank you thank you, thank you. why you thank don't you, want me you. to we're gonna, we're gonna go find